Hi everyone, Paolo here. Welcome back to just another dang how-to channel where I make how-to tutorials from game dev, back-end, salesforce, and mobile development. I know it's been a while since my last video. I was on a holiday and I was focusing on growing my other channel. You can check that out as well if you like. Anyway, I'm now back on creating how-to videos. So on this video, we're going to learn how to use GitHub Copilot with Swift using VX Code. GitHub Copilot is an AI trained with the public repos from GitHub. It has the ability to suggest codes for you as you develop. Currently, it's priced at $10 per month. Uh, there's a 60-day free trial. So in this video, we're going to learn how to use it on VX Code with Swift. Let's go. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So let's get started. So if you go to github.com and do, go under products and then search Copilot, you'll end up here. So this is the AI pair programmer. So GitHub Copilot has been available for some time now. Uh, at the moment, there's a 60 day free trial. So that's what I use. I suggest you do the same so you could follow along. I've been playing around with it for about a week now. It works great on some of my projects that I've written on Python and JavaScript using uh, Visual Studio Code as the editor. The problem is it doesn't work with Xcode. So it's not supported on Xcode at the moment. There's an attempt by a user on GitHub, it, it, me, who uses it as a source code extension. So I tried it out, it's a bit clunky, but if you want a tutorial on how this works, let me know. What this video is focused is on using Visual Studio Code. So we're gonna use Visual Studio Code, go ahead and download, I'll leave a link in the description below on how to get it. So to get started, uh, there's also a guide uh, here that I'm going to post on how to activate the GitHub Copilot for VX Code. Um, but basically what it boils down to to get it all working is this language server protocol. So this is the one that uh, makes a particular language uh, do the auto completion or go to the definition or documentation. Uh, on Xcode, since version 11 and higher, this is already included the language server protocol so it's called the uh, source kit uh, lsp so if you don't have xcode installed yet uh, make sure it's, you have it installed you could go to the app store here on your mac and search for xcode and go ahead and download xcode so there you go so that's the first step uh, make sure xcode installed once you have xcode installed let's open it up we're going to create a new project and I'm gonna say GitHub Copilot. I'll put it on my desktop and hit create. Cool. So now that Xcode is uh, open, let me close some of the windows here and just have the preview showing at the side here. So uh, open up Visual Studio Code. So I'll have it open on this side of the window. And from here, first thing you want to do is you want to set up the extensions that we're going to use. So go under extensions on the marketplace, search for Swift. And this extension would allow the support for the Swift language on uh, VX Code. It does two things. It supports the source code LSP, the one we were talking about, and then it's also LLDB, which is not related to uh, the GitHub Copilot, but uh, this package will install both. So go ahead and install. Cool. And next, search for GitHub Copilot. So go ahead and click on install. If it's the very first time you install GitHub Copilot, it's gonna show you a prompt. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like on the getting started. This is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna install, it's gonna ask you to sign in to GitHub. And once you sign in, you just authorize uh, Visual Studio Code. That's it. And then you're left with this icon. But and on this bottom here, you could go ahead, click that. You could enable and disable the GitHub Copilot, which I'll show later. Cool. Now we could get started. So first, you click on open here and I'll go back to my desktop. We're going to open the same uh, Xcode project we have open here. 
let me resize this again cool so if i open the content here um once you open a swift file it's gonna ask you about that code lldb i just mentioned about so for now you can just click on the workspace it's just going to add it to the workspace and not add it globally so here i could have a new struct which you can see the autocomplete would start working so i can say struct my view you can see it suggested a text for me so i could use that and i could replace this information with my view and save as you can see because i have xcode open in the background i could i have like technically a preview of what i'm building here um, the other thing is i could create functions so um, github go pilot is very good at that so if i say funk and say add it would attempt to uh so it would suggest me what code uh, should go in there so if I hit tab that should accept it uh, I don't have that funk anywhere on the screen so it won't work so another thing that we could do is using natural language so I could say something like create a new view with a slider uh, that adjusts uh, the font size when I hit tab, it's going to suggest something for me. So I'm going to review it. It's a font size, CG float, hello world slider. So I could hit tab. I could grab that view, put it here and save. And let's see in the preview here. So if I jump here, I could go ahead and resize the font size. And you can see the code here. Um, one thing VX Studio Code is not good at is if the if it would actually compile if I copy this and save it it technically has the same struct if I save it it would allow me to save it but if I jump into Xcode it's gonna complain that I'm doing a redeclaration of this struct so it's a good thing to have both open uh, so I could remove that and another thing that I want to show is the suggestion the multiple suggestions so if i say struct um my, uh, let's do create let's do the natural language again create a new view with a uh, picker to select the font i that's good so if i hit space it's gonna suggest me um this particular piece of code uh, there's an option to click on next it would cycle through the different um, suggestions if you don't want any of these suggestions you could actually click hit control plus enter and it's going to open a new tab and it's going to attempt to grab more uh, suggestions for you so here you could see this is the first suggestion there's a view there there's another view here um, and a few more here if I scroll down there's another suggestion here and another suggestion here so I'm gonna try this suggestion and we're gonna try to replace this with that so this is basically gonna change the font so if I jump to Xcode, there you go. Slider also works. Cool. And then if you want to disable GitHub Copilot, just click on this and say disable globally. And if I start typing struct here, you would see there's no suggestion. I mean, it would still autocomplete, but there's no suggestion. So if you want to activate it back, just click on that. Go back here let's give it some time to kick in yep and it's gonna do the suggestion again well, that's all i have to share if you like this video thumbs up thumbs down please subscribe to my youtube channel cheers bye for now